Welcome, welcome, welcome to Hastry X. I'm the host, the wizard, Mad Snake, my cast here, wearing my young boy shirt. Because he's the goat. But anyways, Yantra, Yanzi, the cosmic lion himself is sending me a song he sends me a link to Yantra 2020. And we're going to be listening to this track. We're going to be dissecting it. Now, let's go into the background of who? Jan Montiero, a.k.a. Cosmic Lion, is. He's from Curib- Cur- Curitiba, Brazil. He was raised in Broward County, which is, you know, where many prestigious artists such as Nemesis, you know, X, were from and raised around. I don't know if, I think... Yeah, Barrow County is kind of maybe in that area. You know what I mean. He's got influences from Kid Cudi, Gorillaz, Red Hot Chili Peppers, the Jimi Hendrix Experience, Bob Marley, and more. Is the Jimi Hendrix Experience inspired by Joe Rogan Experience? Nah, I'm just messing with you. It's vice versa. I'm just fucking with you. But nah, I, I like that he put Bob Marley in there. I fucks with Bob Marley. Now, he created like this awesome psychedelic hip-hop that, that had Broward County buzzing, and it's, you know, he's, he's putting out that dope shit, and he's working with Nemesis, Jessica Morale, Free World, Mr. Nebula, and Hell Others. Now let's get right into this. It's a song called Not Yantra 2020. And let's see if I'll vote for him for president. I'm sorry I've been talking with the, um, oh my god, I did it again unintentionally. I'm sorry I've been talking with the Italian accent. I'm watching a lot of fucking Sopranos. Okay, guys? And, uh, let's get right into it. I love the way it's like in the background filtered in. Yeah. It's good so far. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. He's letting everything come in. It's not just starting off in your fucking face, which is good because two motherfuckers start off real quick. Ooh. Perks are really good. The perks, real good. Like, it's not just bass snare, bass snare. It's like this hell other shit. I like the sense that he's using. And the melodies are, you know, well put on top of each other, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I like I like what he's doing. I like what he's doing. Put lemon pepper. <laughs> Put lemon peppers in my sandwich. I like that line. This is stinky. You see my face? Look like fucking. Look like so Dante. <laughs> I love that piano. Sounding good. That open hat right there is good. I'm liking everything so far. But I mean, it's a five minute song. I'll see if it'll change my mind for the worse, which I hope doesn't happen. Let's see what's going to happen next. 
Oh, oh, okay. Changing up. Ooh. Let's see what he's got in store for us. Oh shit. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. This reminds me of stargazing a little bit. Yeah. Shouts out. Fuck it. Stargazing's a good fucking song. I don't really listen to Travis Scott and like him that much. I don't really like him that much. Invisibility Bro, what's up with Brazilian American rappers being fucking fire? Like, I've listened to, you know, Nem, Marco Z, and this guy. They're fucking insane. Fucking Brazilians putting out that best rap music, yo. On fucking God. On Yantra. On Yanzi, whoever. <laughs> Knowledge of the serpent, I like that. Biblical reference. Mm. Flowing like an ocean. I like that. Flowing like an ocean. That's some shit that's gonna stay in my head for real. Well, shout out to you, Yanzi. I fuck with that song a lot. Being honest, because you were telling me, be honest. I'm being honest. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I fuck with this shit. So, you know, if you want to read articles on my website about music, go to Mike Media Incorporated dot XYZ, Mike Media Inc. Dot XYZ. Go read that shit. I just put out an article on Boba Fett, the new TV show on Disney Plus. You know, we got a lot of articles about films, TV shows, music. I'm going to start being putting out some articles on literature, you know, awesome stuff, trying to, you know, analyze the culture uh, that I live in because, you know, it's not really culture, it's the art that takes place in the culture because, you know, they say that culture is, you know, the enemy of the creator because culture it attaches yourself to Know, groups of people and what those groups of people represent when it's not about that it's just about that one product and how you the creator can relate to that product and i'm like has the wizard mad snake signing out <laughs>